Hello everyone, it's Bruce with the Narrow Viewpoint and this is July 5th which makes it day 4 of the Ballville Dam removal. As you can see today we have three uh, hammers. Uh, these are actually uh, uh, it's hydraulic hammers they're using and uh, we've got three at work so they're working on the center section and then the next guy to the left is working on the actual dam section and then they've got the third down at the notch. We'll get you a little closer so that we can see how he's doing on the center section. I'm guessing this must be the young guy and he's out to beat the other two because he's really chipping away at this stuff. Uh, I was uh, very surprised at how much concrete he had chopped out of here already. Uh, looks like he's he's getting into the actual dam area. And we'll come back and see what the next one's doing here. He's pounding away. He's just about got to the point where he'll have water coming across in a little while. I believe these guys are going to be working 12 hour shifts before long so I'll have to make sure to stop by maybe three times a day to keep an eye on things here. That one big slab there looks like it's about ready to fall. And we'll head down to the one on the notch. And he's chopping away. But look at that jungle of rebarb. It's everywhere. I have no clue how they're going to get rid of that stuff. I know it gives them a lot of problems when they're chipping away. We've been really lucky with weather. There hasn't been much of any rain. A little shower here or there. So we've had nice low water conditions for these guys. I think that's perfect for them to try to get this thing down before we get any water flowing hardly. And I'm wishing them luck that they'll be able to get her, get her done. A little close up of uh, our rebar jungle. So I, know I should snap a couple pictures and it could be uh, some crazy art shots. And we'll work our way back to the other section for in a minute here. Almost looks like that thing's not moving at all, but he's actually putting a lot of pressure on it. And there's a lot of concrete been chipped away. Maybe we start, should start taking bets at which one will break through first. 
I go back later this evening I'll have to try to see if I can talk to the operators and see if they got a contest going. I did see a fourth hydraulic hammer over on the ground where they keep the scoops and everything so eventually they may have four of them running here back over to the right side I don't know if it's just me but that concrete looks almost wet there I'm sure that's just my imagination I think at that point there he's probably almost equal with the water on the other side here Let's take a quick look. Uh, hard to say. I wish I could drop a measuring tape down with my drone and see just how far that water line is. Quick peek at the floodgates. And there's that water's churning down there. I don't know if it's kind of bubbling around and swirling or what's going on exactly, but like I said, the, the more water we can get through them, the better. Back to the center hammer. And watch that big slab there. Looks like he's got the rebar problem also. And kaboom and splash. And watch that wave. What I was interested in is that, that was a pretty big slab of concrete and it disappeared in seconds. So there's quite a bit of water down there. Poor guys have to keep dealing with that rebarb. Should have kept filming for that next piece, but we're going to head down to the notch one last time. That one's not moving. <laughs> ah, she's cracking more. And back at the notch. I don't know how he's doing with all that rebar everywhere. Looks like every time he tries to move, he's getting t caught up in it. Back to the right side. And give this guy credit, it looks like those big chunks up on top could come rolling right down in his lap. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Like I said, I will stop by this evening, kind of take a look, 
see if anything major's happened. If not, I'll be back in the morning. And once again, I thank everybody for watching. If there's anything specific you want to see, make sure you post, and I'll try to do my best. Have a good day now.